Hey everybody! Today is Thursday, January 31st, 6 p.m. And it is the Thursday after the World Series of Fen. And we've got D-Call and we've got K-Pro. What's going on, you two? Mm -hmm. What's yeah. up? Yeah, hey, hey, hey. That's what I always hey, say. Hey, hey. So I know <laughs> some people are going to be like, what? K-Pro said she's taking a step back. Well, I made K-Pro come on because she helped plan the World Series of Fen with me. That would not have happened without her input. So I thought it was fitting that she was on to say how the weekend went and decal too, because he's here in Vegas. So we thought we would talk about it and uh, show everybody some pictures that maybe you haven't seen. Um, I got to apologize because I didn't take as many pictures or video as I thought. I was kind of busy. You know, there was T-shirts going on and we had to get the tournament going. So I was a lot busier than I thought I was going to be. But uh, yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, so overall, what do you think, decal of the tournament weekend? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Uh, poker was fun. Um, seeing everybody, uh, everyone was relatively well behaved. Uh, uh, it was <laughs> actually it was kind of cool. I, I I enjoy seeing everybody. It, it was great. It was really fun. Meeting new people. AJ in the cow outfit. Yeah, that, I got a picture <laughs> of that. Two cows. There were two cows. At well, that was that's the whole point. That was the. Calazar fan club, basically. <laughs> I got to do that yeah, next year. Fan. Yeah, one fanatic fan. <laughs> and what about you, Capro? What do you think of the weekend? Um, I think the poker tournament was great and all, but I think that was like this much of the story. I know everybody's <laughs> talking about the poker tournament, which was like what three hours of forty-eight hours, and uh -huh. I think there, um, there was like a couple hours of sleep, maybe four or five in two days. But there's a lot more to tell, and I think no one's talking about that on the blog. So that's where I thought, let's, let's, <laughs> let's talk about the whole weekend. Let's All right. Talk about so let's talk about the whole weekend. I got to say Super Chat is on, and K-Pro has said, if anybody does do a Super Chat, she'll answer any question you want. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what she told me before we went live. But anyway, <laughs> AJ Rainville, the, the, cow, AJ! the, the oh. cow costume was great, and Jenny's uh, gold medallion was great. He bought it, so I was able to see it in person. Um, yeah, he so didn't it was buy really cool. it. He won it. Brought and he it. Said it wasn't brought for sale. it. Said, oh, brought it. Brought it. He yeah. said it wasn't for sale, but magically he doesn't have it, and I'm still trying to get over that. And Alan K, there were some big winners outside the poker tournament. We'll go over that. Um, that was kind of on the last day. At least I found out about it anyway. So, all right. So yeah. Um, uh, that, uh, first, I just want to say thank you to everybody that showed up. We had, I think, 34 players for the tournament. And then we had like 10 people that showed up that didn't actually play in the tournament. So for 44 people to come out here to Vegas just for an idea that me and K-Pro had, I think was awesome. Uh, big thank you to K-Pro because none of it would have happened without her ideas no. and her help. Good and, job. Good job. But I really want to say thank you to everybody that showed up. I mean, me and K-Pro can plan whatever we want, but if nobody shows up, it's not an event. So everybody that showed up, you really made it happen, and you made it fun, and you made it a fun weekend. So thanks to everybody that came out. I hope we can do it again. And I've heard after the fact that there were a couple people that were like, yeah, I was on the fence. And then once they heard all the stories, they're like, well, I wish I would have went. So next time, show up. Next time, do what you got to do to get out here. And there will be a next time. We're definitely going to plan something else. So, all right. What do you guys want to talk about? What uh, We all started, what was it, uh, Friday? Is that when we uh, jumped into the first tournament? Was it Friday night? What? Yeah. Okay. So, was your first searcher exchange on Friday night, Mike? Come on. We're going to, we're bringing no, it. We, or I was mean, it Thursday? Thursday night. Yeah. Thursday, yeah, Thursday night. Thursday. Uh, well, Much. You guys saw Scott, and then I came later. Oh, that's and, right. Oh, my God. I wouldn't go that far. Deagle. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Why and, not? Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. And then we, uh, I, I realized Thursday night, I, I played the $105. Uh, uh, poker, and I realized right away that I didn't want to spend another 105. Oh, that's right. On, that was on Thursday. those guys. Yeah, now, yeah, Mike, yeah. Mike, you did pretty dang good. I was impressed. You you won more than one time, uh, or were in the money more than one time. Uh, uh, to be accurate. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. So there was the Friday night sixty dollar tournament, and we did a Thursday night eight p.m. one oh five tournament. I can't remember right. how I did in the one in the eight p.m. I don't. I'm I not think sure. you went you out chopped. on that. One. You went out no, before you you, you Christy. Christy was in the uh, held out longer on Thursday night, uh, but that was basically just a practice. And I was glad I did because 
I really felt weird playing live. Oh, that's right. To, uh, that's right. Online. I mean, I'm serious. I, I must have played 100,000 hands or 200,000 hands uh, in the weeks leading up to, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get to Friday. So Thursday was a blur. Because yeah, quite honestly, all three of us played, right. We, Me and Decal got played. knocked out. We were waiting for Chris to get yeah. knocked out. That's right. Now yeah. I remember. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah, vaguely. Yeah. Okay, so now <laughs> we had great. Friday. People were people were filing in. Several wanted to meet alone. We met mm -hmm. different people met alone with different people. Um, some shared secrets. Some said later, too many shots in emo. <laughs> There's never <laughs> such a thing as too many shots. Um, okay, so um, so now we're Friday. Now, so Friday after some informal meetings, <laughs> discussions, conversations with various people, people are filing into town. Mm -hmm. So we said we were going to do the practice tournament. So the practice tournament started at six. Um, I'd say about 10 or 15 showed up, um, not like maybe a third of the pack. Um, and, and nothing really great there except for Mike won it. Mm. That's right. I it was a little yeah. $60 tournament and it had two tables. It was funny because there were two tables, about 20 people, one table of just casino people. And then one table of searchers where we all knew each other. So that was kind of fun. And yes, yeah. I ended up winning that tournament uh, somehow, some way. Everybody left me and went to dinner, but the, uh, two people came back. I know two people came no. back I, to get me. Okay. So let's be clear. There were two groupies sitting on the rail going, go Mike. Go that's Mike. right. It was Jonesy and K pro. They were rooting me on. Yeah, and I really think that's dinner. how I won. <laughs> that's right. So yeah, that was fun. Okay. okay so Mike. Uh, Copper Dan <laughs> with a super okay. chat, $2 do super have, chat. What really happened in the bathtub? Yeah, well, I would wait for the pictures. I have the picture of the bathtub, and we'll show it because we show everything on the Cow Lasers and K-Pro show. Oh, so. I, I don't know what pictures you have, Mike. Oh, holy heck. Okay, um, Copper Dan, I'm bringing it. I will answer that in just a moment. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Um, okay, so where are we at? So we said, um, okay. So that was so Friday night, yeah. Friday, oh, we're not done with Friday night. We and haven't talked about the after party. Yeah, then we all went up to a suite, didn't we, at the Flamingo? No, wait, we went Friday to the Beppos. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was late because I ended up winning the tournament. I get there, we, everybody's eating. What? We were late. We, mm -hmm. me, you, and Jonesy. That's right. right. You had women on each arm. That's right. That's that right. was impressive. Yeah, they that escorted me in and told everybody <laughs> I won. That's right. And then we and had there dinner. Was, like, money. It was flying. Oh, you know what? Let me grab the picture. We took a picture while we were at dinner. Do I have yeah. that picture? I don't know if you I don't do. even know if I have it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the all right. one that, that D calls calling me out for. No, no. <laughs> that was the picture. Oh, I have those pictures in front of Duke Big Duke. Boop. What's it called? Buca de Peppo? I have those pictures that were in front. Sorry, everybody. It's kind of a blur. But I'm talking about the one we paid for. Remember the photographer came by and was mm. like, yeah. Yeah. Do you have that one? Yeah, but I don't know if any everybody that was in that wants to be in wants to be shown. So I'm not going to well, show yeah. that picture. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're awesome. I'm sharing one right now. Oh, God. Uh oh. That's, this is a. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. And I've got the same you? picture. This, so, see, Mike wasn't, Mike wasn't there. Yet. I was still in the tournament. <laughs> Right. Christy's no. going uh, nuts over here with uh, Larry. No, that's wow! Afterwards. Yeah, me and Larry, we were having Larry, fun. Okay. Larry was trying to marry the poem to a map right there, I think. <laughs> Larry's in the chat. Larry Sandell. Thank AJ you. didn't have his moo, his uh, cow outfit on yet. <laughs> yes, I think it was on under his clothes. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take it down for. Oh, uh, where, where the hell's? And I've got. Unsure. We'll revisit that picture. I've got that. Too. Oh. Oh, good. Stop Great. Sure. Glad. Okay. So then we decided it was like, but it was only like midnight by that time so we're like i have a suite does anyone mm -hmm. want to come up to the suite at the and flamingo some other some other searchers were coming into town and they were like we're just getting here it was like 11 o'clock and they're like where do we meet you and so where do you meet when you have a party full of searchers that you need to get their secret from and so we decided and decal you went on friday night right yeah okay so there was i would say 20 20 searchers i would say up in the suite yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we are. It was great to put na uh, faces to names of a lot of people that I've talked to, you know, through email and forums. So that's right. We were just all up there talking. I had, I we, had my we diet. Had water. We had water. We had a diet coke. There <laughs> that's was, right. Um, there, there were, were the, some alcoholic beverages up there. Um, I don't remember that. Nothing to do with me though. But not, not know, enough. I, I remember you, having to make a I run, or somebody made a run. Beverages consumed by mm -hmm. others. There's, I do there's, remember, Mike. It was like. 
what maybe 3 a.m it's like mike why don't you make a little <laughs> run right, and, right there right. was money flying and people were, here's the thing i will say the thing <laughs> with searchers we were trying to talk about poker strategy and all that no Never no. happened. All right. No, everyone wanted to talk Nobody about cared. their solve. Their Boris no. Fenn. It was all there about was a Boris lot of, There was a lot of discussion about solves. You know, Larry right. told us to solve, and uh, uh, John Bobbitt told us. Uh, was that was that Saturday night? John Bobbitt was telling us. No, that's Saturday solved. night. Save, save yeah. that Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, Saturday night was remember. a little different. People were telling, talking about their solves. Uh, uh, Steve Wayne, he was a, a charming guy. Uh, mm -hmm. No, uh, call him the wi whiz. The whiz, okay, the, the whiz. whiz. I don't know if I'm supposed to say people's names. I mean, no, not unless they are saying it's okay. I was told to call him the whiz. So okay, sorry, Mr. Whiz. The whiz. The whiz. <laughs> Mr. Mm. Now, do we want to talk about that? Was the first like everybody says there's no drama? Holy hell! Then you weren't there. So do we want to talk about the first fight? That was where the first fight was. And what was the fight? Yeah. Yeah, all right, what was the fight? <laughs> no, Christy just just started. <laughs> started uh, what? no i did not start no <laughs> no it was it wasn't yelling. it wasn't yelling. okay let's move on to saturday then if no one wants to hear it no, i don't even know oh, what you're really? talking about what fight you two had a fight oh, you totally hurt well you won't call it a fight yeah so um two searchers and i don't see them in the room yet but i'm sure they are um i don't let's see i don't see them yet um decided to confront me Okay. And said they believe that the reason that Toby bought a house, oh, I have okay. dropped out, and Dig and Gypsy dropped out is because we knew what the treasure chest was, right. and it got a little serious. And I love both of you in the room. If you call <laughs> yourself out, it's okay. Mm. Um, and they were like, "It cost several thousand dollars for me to go boots on the ground." Right. I want to know if it's true. What do you know? They wanted and to know I, if it was already found or if it was going to be found. They all thought it was over. Yeah. I, now I know what you mean. Okay. Yeah, and I had I had D Call and Mike there, and I want you to know Nelica. Those are the three. Like I knew after Santa Fe, I'm like, bring it on. Like right. I'm fine. But none of so. that's true. I mean, I mean, there's people who think they're gonna find the chest this week summer, but it's not Capro. It's not me. I don't. I don't hope I can say I don't think it's Toby or who else did you yeah, say? Dig no, and Gypsy. I, and I, I don't said, know. I we actually did get a little serious for a minute. I did say that is not the reason. And I wanted to be very clear that that was not like Toby getting a house. I have no knowledge. And I talked to Toby and I'm very, he's, it's wonderful. He's getting a house. I don't believe it's anything related right. to the chest. And I know Dig and Gypsy's story. I will not go into it. It is nothing in relation to finding it. And sure as hell, the three of us <laughs> didn't find it. I will tell you, this is where imagination runs wild, but it was a little serious. And we got out <laughs> of that. Some people but thought I, they demanded, demanded an answer. And it's like, there's no answer. What are you talking about? So that's yeah, all. There was yeah. an answer. It was like, well, yes, there wasn't what the answer they thought it was, is what I meant. There wasn't that answer that they thought something was going on. Nothing's going yeah. on. We just, you know. Let's see. How many solves were given and how many times were those solves shot down? Um, in the whole time, <laughs> I would say I heard maybe 10 solves. Um, I heard like one solve from, there's two searchers that told me their solves like 10 times themselves, but um, I don't think anybody, oh, Toby's in the house. To Toby won't Toby be here. Toby's here? Yeah, Toby's there. AGK Media. Oh, He's now I see it. Now I see it. Yeah, so, Toby bought a house because uh, of the millions from YouTube he's made. Right, Toby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just a joke. Just a yeah. joke. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. So every time K Pro Lazars get together, there's a fight. Oh, man, that, in the that's barn. not a fight, though. That's why you said fight. I'm like, fight. It's just people that had serious questions about is it over. That's not a fight. There's some in other my serious opinion. questions that night, but we'll leave those for let's go. Let's go to set. So I think we ended up, um, I don't remember, maybe three, four, five. Everybody well, left. Um, no, there was like 10 people up there. Is that what no, I was talking a clock in the morning. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, so everybody went on, and I do have to say, gosh, people can talk about their solves vaguely, yeah. not vaguely. My <laughs> God, um, right. if I heard eight hundred foot salamander one more time, I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> so, that's my no. solve, by the way. You're supposed to have a salamander suit on for the poker tournament. Yeah, Deco. that's a good. Well, I gotta start a uh, salamanderlasers.com. <laughs> Okay, so now we finished up, and I want to say for the 10, 15 searchers that showed up, there was different people. Um, it was fun. We got to know each other. Some people left cash. A lot of people left alcohol um, for the yeah. next night, which was 
a little much, much larger. Um, so Friday night was great, but it really teed up the next day. We had to be up and out by 10. And I was texting as many searchers. I was the alarm clock for many. I was, I don't know how that happened. Oh, to get I, to the escape room. Yeah, yeah, I, got, yeah. Escape room. yeah I got a text from Mike at first ah. in the morning. I thought that was really cool. I was like, wow, this is really organized because I'm getting the scoop early in the morning. I can't possibly miss it now. Yeah, that was cool. Um. Okay, so Nelica's here. Mm -hmm. um, so I will say, and Copper Dan said, she tried to get um, the solve out of my dad. I only got WWWH, but Copper Dan, uh. I know WWWH. Okay, so now we're Saturday morning. Um, we all trickled into the lobby and at um, Jay right? began the, at Valley's. Um, some people had to, t we had, we only had about 10 or 12 RSVP'd, but we had 18 show up. For the so escape room, yeah. So we had we, to do three yeah. escape rooms because we had so many people, which is awesome. Yeah, so we went to the escape room, and we decided as a women's team, the women don't get enough credit, and mm -hmm. so we decided we were going to break off as one. So there was three groups. For three, uh, three different groups. rooms, right? Yeah, so Mike had the Code Breaker room, and they were all boys. Um, Decal had... Oh. Um, uh, Bangkok or something. What was it? Yeah, oh, Bangkok. Ba ba Bangkok. Uh, yeah, Shanghai. Sorry. Shanghai Express. I think. Shanghai. Shanghai no, Express. it started with a B. Bang. Bang. I don't know. Maybe it was. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, the hell. And then there was a women's group, but I will say that we took on but one not, of the yeah. set of searchers that yeah. came came with her son. That was his birthday. So mm -hmm. he's like, "Can you call us?" Um, the angels and he's Bosley. And can we have one guy in our group? Cause I want to bond with my son. There's a picture. Like, you guys will see the picture. Yeah. So we decided, sure, let's do it. So, um, decals group went in first. Um, and how'd you do? Okay. And we will say, because it's Vegas, we did a side bet. Everybody put in five bucks and we said, whichever group wins, they get the pot of money. How'd you do, Decal? Oh, you had right. an hour. Well, how, how, we, we how, actually had the uh, – we opened the door before everyone. We just <laughs> – that's that, that is a fact. Yeah. That is a fact. Oh, but the We hints? just couldn't go out because we had it out of order. Uh, oh, and I, only, I didn't know I only, that. I only keyed in the, uh, the, the keypad one time and had the correct code. It was kind of amazing that we had the exit code, but we didn't have the correct solve at all. So uh, the three of us were all on different teams, so – yeah. yeah, it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and I, so then, so then the women came. I okay, so basically, Tony Hall's giving long-winded. They lost. They didn't <laughs> get out of the room. And so then, the women's team. I do have to say, the women's team. We did really. We communicated well. We didn't have any drama. We didn't have the boys around, so it was like it went really, really well. And so we got out in 44 minutes. And God, we waited forever for this last team. Forever. Uh, <laughs> and that was my Never. team because the room, the code was hard as hell. We had oh, a lot of fun, no. and we everybody got out within the sixty minutes. I don't know if D call no D call oh, did not. We were, yeah, oh, okay. Well, I no no one in our group had ever done a, a, a room, room before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we were kind of figuring out how to play Clue for you know <laughs> a complicated game of clue really escape room was a lot of fun yeah i hope definitely when we do this again next year i think the escape room should be part of it because yeah we had a lot yeah. of fun well and so the women won and i will say kevin uh, we called him bosley because we all took pseudo names and <laughs> so they were names that made us feel like we were someone different and we were able to be a little kind of honoring. <laughs> um, and so bosley we actually took all the money since it was his birthday he was the youngest one there by a lot oh, nice. um, he said he was 32 i think he was 23 and we just gave him all the cash hmm. and so he was it was his birthday yeah that was i, I would have never thought of that but that um, was so for everybody that just joined, we are going to show all the pictures at the end here. So I just want to let everybody know. So we have Covert 130 said, watching. The, so. the code was tougher than the fence phone covert one. Your wife and I it rocked it. Rough. They are the same level of difficulty. Take the loss. Take it like a man. Don't, don't. So don't. here's what we do, guys. Next year, we switch it. Next year. Okay, pro, your your team does the code, and we'll do which one did you have? Arizona, okay. and then yeah. yeah, we'll all switch it, and then okay, we'll see how it breaker goes. Okay, code breaker Charlie, we'll switch that up. <laughs> all right. So the escape okay. room was a lot of fun. What I really liked is everybody fit. Nobody had to take a cab back, so we all drove back. 
I had to make one little pit stop on the way back. But okay. we'll, you want to talk, talk about that now? Yeah, we can talk. I have pictures of it, but if you want to show okay. them, go ahead. I'm going to talk about like the best and the worst of the trip. Oh, that's this right. Was yeah. This was the worst of the trip for me. And I will, I want to, I'm going to actually give a couple of apologies to Mike. So Mike's like, we need to make a stop. And we're in Vegas. First, we had to go to my apartment to get a set of poker chips so I could show people how to play. Right? Yes, and I tried to like go to Mike's apartment and yeah, was I was okay, like, so no, wait, guys. Right? Yeah, there were like, three yeah. people in the car. I'm like, I'll be right back. Yeah, and I tried to sneak, and he's like, get out. I was okay, so <laughs> I got out, and then he's like, we need to make a stop, and he wouldn't tell us where, and so we're like, I just said, are we doing like a drug stop? What are we doing, Mike? Nah, and, and I we wouldn't were tell. Giving him a, and he wouldn't tell, and I was, it got really serious, and we actually went way out of the way, and he's like, I've got to go. We were at like a fast food place and he met yeah. a guy in a parking lot. Farmer and I'm like, brothers. Yeah. I'm like, you guys, Mike. Okay. So Jonesy and Wiz, you're in here. Wiz was there. They were in the car. And, <laughs> and they were in the car and they're like, you, you can't think Mike's that bad. I'm like, I think he's like straight laced, but this is like shady. <laughs> we're in a parking lot. <laughs> and so then all of a sudden I'm in the back seat. Wiz is here. And then it's Mike and, and Jonesy. And he opens the door from the side and he's like, shut your eye. Mm. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm thinking this is Vegas. I'm going to die. Like, <laughs> what what's could happening it be? Here? And so he's like, shut your eyes now. And you guys might think Mike's nice. I like, I was scared. I'm like, I'm shutting my <laughs> eyes. And then all of a sudden. Let me explain. K Pro's birthday was Thursday that week. Okay. And this is yeah. Saturday, right? Saturday. Yeah. This is. Saturday, Saturday when we did Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I filled it up by now, but here is what Mike got me for my birthday. So it is engraved and it the says thrill the thrill chase of the chase with a compass. This is all I don't know inlaid, what you call it. inlaid, inlaid, or in, in and carved. Then there yeah. is a there's a silver coin. Yeah. And then there is a copper coin. You'll never know what number. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and I'm going to try not to spill it because I filled it up with some other stuff we're going to talk about later. And so then you open it up and you can see it's all notched. It's like pure. Yeah, there's like, no nails. It's all notched. That's yeah. dovetail. Yeah, yeah. dovetail. Right. So then you look inside and there's the poem in gray or in in whatever um inlaid engraved yeah carved it's engraved. carved into the lid of the box is yeah the poem. and yeah. it's like a huge treasure chest and right. my, so now you have your own treasure chest for my, so because my own treasure chest. because k pro that. said she was stepping back from the chase i thought i would get her a treasure chest so there you go k pro happy birthday. there you go yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really interesting how it's 10 by 10 by 5 basically <laughs> it's coincidence yeah. Crazy. Yeah, coincidence. It's and uh, <laughs> it's it's very nice wood. It's birch and maple or something. Do you what two woods? Do, what two uh, woods do you use? I you know I want to say maple, but I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure. I think the, the top the top could be birch. Yeah, top is is maple and the bottom is is birch. But uh, right. it was awesome. And then so this is the moment that I'm looking at this going. I just said that Mike's doing a drug deal and I'm like, Oh my God, <laughs> nice. he was so sweet. And then Jonesy and Wiz were like, wow, it was, it was awesome. 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 Okay. So, and we'll get more to that later, but I want to say this was like the nicest thing I've ever gotten in my life. Thank you, Mike. You're awesome. Yeah. That, and then, is all right. Well, I'll, I'll talk about the worst part of the trip, but I'll talk about it when we get to that point in the night. So <laughs> this is the afternoon. We all go back to the hotel room. No, I had promised her. No, or... no, no. We're not back to what? the hotel room yet. Well, where did we go from there? We went, we went to Bally's. We went back to Bailey's. We, we Bally's. went back to the, the poker area to see yeah. who wanted to go to practice. Right, right, right. And that's what I meant. And then from there, we went back to the room because I told people I would show them a little quick poker practice session if they wanted one. So <laughs> yeah. some people showed up and then we did go back to the room, right? Yes. I was just trying to show them how blinds work and – uh. Well, and I will say this is where the treasure hunters came out with us because Mike was at the main table and we were trying to talk about things and people were like, can you go over there? And they like they moved him to the side because he was talking about poker and everyone wanted to talk about their solves. You're right. It was like two or three hours. And of course, all the alcohol came out and we were having a great time. But it was were you in there, T. Call at that? I think yeah. you were. Yeah, I yeah. came to the practice. Yeah, it was it was great. Yeah. Uh, everybody you was. It, we we're just kind of relaxing. I was, man, yeah. I was thinking, man, I need a nap before the game. Yeah, man. the drink started. I think at that point, the drink started, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and so then that bathtub shot, Jonesy, <laughs> which we're going to show. I, yeah, 
it was a suite. And so they're like, what's back behind? Cause there's like a, um, a door and it, nobody was supposed to go behind the door. And Jonesy, if you guys know Jonesy, she's like, what's behind the door? I'm like my <laughs> bathtub, all my stuff, my bed. And she's like, let's go. And so let's I don't go. know. Let's go. Picture, but all of a sudden we were in a bathtub and there was a picture tape and you'll see the picture later. And that <laughs> is got it right here. Bed. Oh, it's in your oh. wallet. <laughs> oh, I, I got I got Calazar's Grand Adventure opened up on this other screen. Uh, Dico, there you, go. I don't, uh, you know what? You might have one of them. Um, no, it's so on. So a lot of a lot of Grand Adventure. A lot of these pictures. He's talking about the Facebook group, everybody. But what I think I'm going to do is a lot of these pictures, or maybe the best of these pictures, I will put up on the website under World Series Defend, so that everybody can check them out if you haven't got a chance. So. Jonesy's so, nice. I like Jonesy. It's the first time I met Jonesy. And, uh, I mean, she won the doodle contest and other contests. I oh, mean, that's she's right. really smart. Like, she is the queen of the World Series of Fen. The queen. She was so nice. She was so great. She was so fun. <laughs> nice and, to be uh, around. Mike, Super... I don't think you drank bourbon. What, what did, did you drink, did, Somebody bought a big bottle of DiSerono. So I was having DiSerono on ice. That's what I had but, uh, the, I that day that. and that yeah. night. Nelica, yeah. Nelica bought, I think, movie. three of those, I think. yeah. No, yeah. and I think she actually showed me where she hid the, ne the last one because <laughs> she was like, Everybody keeps drinking it, and I actually want to have a drink. So we hit it um, where the boys could not find it, nah. except maybe Mike later. Mm. Um, okay, so video coming up this week. Oh, okay. Man in the barn. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> everybody's talking. Okay, so right. now we're at. And I'm getting right. everybody their shirt. A lot of people pre ordered the World Series of Fen shirt right here. So I'm trying to keep track of who gets what. People are buying shirts. Yeah, it kind of got a little crazy, but we got it done. And I just want to say that everybody who's ordered a shirt, they are in the mail. Whether it was before the World Series of Fan, if you were there, people have ordered things since then. Everything is in the mail, so I'm caught up, finally. Okay, so let me be clear. D calls picture of the tub was the wildest thing, and Mike just said the I it did was not wild. have a picture of the and, tub. And, That's just on <laughs> Well, I and then Mike just said that. it was wild and crazy. I was had shirts going left and right. Okay, I was ah, these early. shirts. I love you guys, but come on. I was home early. The shirts I was that home people by bought. That's one a.m. or or twelve thirty or uh, something. I was just getting started by then. Okay. Yeah, so I know. Now, <laughs> so now we decide. Um, hey, oh, we start working. Up. Yeah, I, I know. I'm interrupting. Uh, no. I I remember that I uh, it was kind of cool. I got to uh, there was uh, one person that needed a ride after escapeology and. It was uh, Copper Dan's dad. We called him Copper Dave. And, Copper uh, Dave. Yeah. He got. He got to. He rode with me in the truck to uh, back to the valleys after escapology, and it was really cool. I got to, a little conversation with him. What a great guy! I like Copper Dan's dad, Dave. Copper Dave. He's a great. Um, yeah, guy. me too. A yeah. little respect, Copper Dave. <laughs> <laughs> The walking I that every time. Truthfully, yeah. Copper Dan, wow, he uh, he impressed me too. I uh, <laughs> I didn't really have any bad inflection of, of Copper Dan, but he's just so charming in person. Person. Uh, well, great... and I want to I want to say something about the pre-party because there was one guy that was really really quiet that kind of just sat in the background. He had a little name tag on, but he was really quiet, and I thought. I need to get him out of his shell some way. So when I'm at the poker tournament, you know, this guy named AJ, he was really <laughs> quiet at the pre-party. And I was actually concerned because I was like, I was going to figure out who the quiet one was. No, and he's was not worried. that quiet, is he? That becomes oh. important later. AJ was like, I'm not a forest fed searcher. I'm a treasure searcher. That and was I was crazy. like, oh. He's like, no, I'm not even forest fed at all. Yeah, right, he, right. He knew, he he knew stuff about it. But uh, yeah. I went to lunch with AJ uh, af basically after the practice session. Mm. And, uh, that was, that was excellent. I, uh, we had one of the Wahlburger hamburgers and that was delicious, but I had a long conversation with AJ. Really cool dude. Uh, yeah. Well, and I yeah. want to do a shout out cause he's in the room. Nemo. I had not prepped yeah. all of the folding of the programs and all of those things. Nemo, I put him to work. So thank you, Nemo. Um, you helped me at, we got the bathroom shot. Um, the silent guy in the corner. These are the things that I needed to remember to say. Um, yeah, so me, I just wanted to say thank cool. you. Wow. Uh, yeah. Another, I, I can't. I mean, I didn't have a negative impression of anyone, but right, everybody like, was great. To know everybody. Nemo was is a really cool guy. No one. No one. Decal. No one. Okay. <laughs> okay so now we're at. What are you um, trying to get me to say here? You instigate. Oh, just wait. Just wait. 
Okay, so now we're about um, 4.45 and we decide to start to walk over. And here is another, I won't say fight because that's too much. tournament starts at 7. Yeah, go ahead. No, the tournament's... Okay, yeah, be there at 6. Be there before. at 6, we're, start at 7. So yeah, at yeah. 5.30, we decide to walk over. And there are a couple of hunters, and I don't think they want their name. You guys are in the room. If you want your name called out, all of a sudden, one of them grabbed and said, we're going live right now. Mike. Oh, that's Remember right. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't even think it went live. Like, as we were walking over, I tried to go live, but it's like it's scheduled. I don't know. It no, was only like, like for a, a schedule, second. you're like this. Yeah, like my face is right <laughs> up in it. So, sorry, guys. I was so yeah. busy with everything, I didn't get a chance to worry about the vlog, to tell you the truth. I just wanted well, the event to go Well, as we started doing well. that, though, people started, like, Vegas people, like, started coming. And it was like, I'm at, I had You my just kept going, yeah. Off. You were I like, I'm out of here. I thought I was mad. I'm like, no, let's just. Let's just get to the World Series of Fen. Right. So, well, so, well, um, Sasha was doing uh, live. Uh, yeah, that was, that was great. I never would have yeah. thought to go live in the casino, but she did a good job. So you guys, oh, I'm yeah, sure everybody's was, watched uh, uh, their Sasha. video. Well, yeah. and I will say, this is where I give Sasha props. Because, Mike, if you would have gone live, you would have been escorted from security. Yeah, she probably. She was, like, smiley and, like, oh, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, exactly. yeah. She got away. With, yeah. She kept going after I heard security asked her, like, you can't do it. And she's just like, okay, hee hee. And then kept going. Yeah. She was oh, like, yeah. ah, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't even know that part. Got, okay. Yeah, that's the confidence and the charm and the yeah. – uh, and the looks. Let's be honest here. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. So we sh we arrive. And we are now trying to get everybody. At, Mike, do you have a poker chip? I don't think I have mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one um, right okay, here. Okay, so we gave everybody asked what the little special prize was. It's a Forest Fen poker chip. Everybody got one. Look at the back. So the back There's was the back. The, uh, those of you that like the postmarks. That's the date um, of the poker tournament. With the current date, by the way. It's not one of the postmarks out of yeah, the book. It's this the was the date, date of the poker tournament, right? Yeah. So then everybody that was there got a poker chip and a program. I will say we had 50 programs. These were out. We had a few extra poker chips. So even the people that came um, that just watched, we gave them a poker chip, um, which they were really nice about. So everybody arrived. We had 32 to 34. I don't know exactly. We had some right. rebuys. So we were a lot of rebuys. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of rebuys. First place was um, like $950. Yeah. So, so before we started, this literally, if you haven't seen the picture, there was a onesie cow that um, yeah. AJ was wearing. Um, and the funny part was security walked up on AJ. Yeah. You know the yeah. quiet guy that I told you guys about? The quiet one? Yeah. yeah that's he him. showed up in a cow costume. We have a picture of that. It's coming up. Yeah. And so security walked up and said, and the, um, <clears throat> we need to talk. Yeah. And they, he's like, what's the problem? And they said... Where are your udders? Or I'm <laughs> utterly <laughs> offended. Yeah. <laughs> and so he actually he did gave the perfect response. He turned around, he put his hands behind him, like shackle like, Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, and, arrest me. <laughs> oh I, was, uh, that was pretty was funny. Yeah. I should have got it on video, but I didn't. I, I got it on I got it on video. It's hilarious. Uh, oh, oh did you? Oh, you should have shown it then. Part okay. of it. Yeah. And yeah, when he turns around, I had <laughs> it on video. And uh yeah. I thought so then go ahead, go ahead. Mike. No, I was going to no. say, I thought security guard said, um, is that a gold medallion in your pocket? Are you happy to be here? But that's not what happened. <laughs> no, because Mike, by that time, and AJ, I love you, but I'm a little irritated. Um, I told him name is price. He told me it wasn't for sale. AJ had already sold the medallion he by that point. He didn't sell it, though. Let's get not traded. get technical. He traded. Pardon. Traded. Yeah, he didn't sell it. So, But but somebody else owns it. I don't know if they want to say who that is. But yeah. Oh, I'm saying it, Copper Dan. <laughs> you're going down, baby. One of these days, I'm going <clears> to <throat> you like win every time, Copper Dan. Dan's got all yeah. the coins, yeah. Yeah, he does. He does. I might have okay. to get him a Coin Lazar shirt one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> coin Lazar. All right. So everybody Crazy. shows up. I think we, I kind of met everybody. If I missed anybody, I apologize, but we were really busy trying to get this thing going. Everybody had to buy in and I had to get the shirt straight and all that fun stuff. And we're getting programs to everybody yeah. where they buy and in the chip, and then they the go to the chip. table and some people are going, what, what does a buy in mean? <laughs> and we're yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Do and we the, want to pause here and ask any questions before we get into the poker tournament? Yeah. And I just want to say, um, the, Bailey's poker room was great. They uh, they put up with us. They ran a great tournament. And uh, yeah, uh, and if we do another one, I think we should do it back there because uh, they really accommodated everybody and we had a lot of fun. So, Well, and I will say, uh, and we asked this of everyone, 
Um, I did ask everybody tip your waiters, but also we asked everybody to tip their uh, dealers. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, you guys really came through. I know the dealers were like, come back anytime. This is the greatest <laughs> tournament ever. So I oh, want to say thank you. What's everybody. funny is when we said, I don't know who said it, you, me or whoever said, hey, remember to tip your de dealers. People started tipping right then. Well, you normally tip at the end of a tournament, not the beginning. So that was great because the dealers were like, oh, thanks. And they put it all together and well, they split it. When so they said it good. at our tournament, people were pulling out 100 after 100. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Right. okay. So it was awesome. So, sorry you had to move tables, okay? Uh. <laughs> AJ had to move tables. So, if you know anything about poker, we started with five um, because we thought we were going to have about 47. Only about 34 showed up. Some people so at RSVP didn't show, and that's okay. Things happen. Yeah, yeah and they started putting us into a smaller uh, – we went to tables. four tables yeah. and then went to three tables. Um, I will say the dealers absolutely get the greatest dealer awards. They were so patient and so nice. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, it was, yeah. And it was awesome. they, they did not have an attitude. They didn't get annoyed at us. Right. They had a lot of patience and they did, they were very professional. Yeah. You know, every, I thought it was great. Even though we're talking too loud, we're not, we're distracted. We're not playing poker and he's got to babysit all of us. They just kept on hammering away. It's your, 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 Oh, that's right. You're blind and all that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Steve just said he knocked out the first player, and we had a little surprise for everybody. The first player that got knocked out, who – I'm not going to say who it was. I'm trying – oh, that's right. I was remember it, who it no, was. No, don't say who it was. Don't, don't say, say, don't say their name. I'm not okay. supposed to say who it was. <laughs> but what they, what they got was the 2019 non-numbered uh, searcher coin. Uh, so this yeah. is what they got. Whoever the first player that was knocked out was oh. going to get this coin. That's why they're made of metal. So, yeah. That, yeah. and then so, I think he rebought, but that's fine. We had said in the beginning, me and K-Pro yeah, were like, we whoever get gets knocked out first. Yeah. Outside of Mike and I, and probably we wouldn't give it to Decal either because he was kind of an organizer. Um, so if, if, <laughs> so uh, if somebody was knocked out that wasn't in the group that we were going to give the first coin. And he actually was pretty mad. And then he got the coin. He's like, I'm going to buy back in. Yeah. So he bought back in. That was that So was awesome. somebody just said they thought tipping the dealers would be illegal. So no, you may have never been to Vegas before. Tipping is what Las Vegas is all about. The dealers are there <laughs> doing a service and everybody tips the dealer. So that's customary. If you didn't tip the dealer, they would think something's wrong. So just like you tip the waitress, you tip the dealers out here in Vegas. Yeah. 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 So, um, okay. So now we're... Let's just say um, the tables were really loose. They really yeah. – some things that – I mean, a 3-8, I'm not going to call out because I know this person's in the room. Any a two three, cards. Eight, that my beat my pocket aces. It, it was – But we figured insane. that's what was going to happen, right? I insane. mean, yeah. Insane. Yeah, it was uh, – yeah. Okay. I, so, I honestly expected to do better. Uh, I don't uh, – maybe it just was the cards not in my favor, but uh, – Right, right. I knocked okay, a couple so people out at, at the table. We're probably at 10, 10, 30. We're down to the final table. Right. I will say a lot of and people left right away, but there was actually Decal and I, we were at the table of non-players, which were yeah, called losers. There was a whole was table. So loud. Holy crap. They, I know. They, had to, they had to move us away from the, the actual but, poker players. But the cool part was we tipped them well enough. They're like, and I know Decal got, kept getting his Diet Coke, but the rest of us, they're like, keep going rounds, keep right. going rounds. And we had... Free drinks, yeah. People Free got drinks. pretty drunk, and that's all right. Um, I will show a picture of the final table if anybody's wondering, well, who won? I'm going to show you who won. I'm going to say what prizes they took out of the uh, extra prizes that we had. So I'll show that when we get to the pictures here in a couple minutes. So, yeah. yeah so, the, um, so now there was the – we. Actually, this is – I have to totally get over to Mike. I was at the loser table, and we were having a blast. I have no idea what happened from there. Um, Go ahead, Mike. And should I say it now <laughs> or when we show the picture? Would it be easier just to show who it at the picture? Yeah, who won? Yeah, show it later. Show okay. it later because it really didn't so, have Five searchers won. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they, oh, actually six with Mike. They paid six <laughs> places, and I will say that I came in sixth place. So I got 160 bucks. I bought in once for $60, but I didn't get any of the five cool prizes. I just got the money, but that was okay. It was Boomer Girl who knocked me out i will say that much and that's okay you she know that's how it goes she, she was, knocked out like she, half of if there were bounties yeah she yeah that's right bucks. we ended I up i don't think 
I don't think she can pretend that she's not a poker player. Right. Anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she has a really good poker face. She would be like talking with someone and they would go, the dealer would yeah. go, oh, you have to buy it. She'd go, oh, how much? Oh, five grand? Yeah. She'd she throw just it didn't in care. Three eight. It didn't matter. And then she win. Would, she would win. The board would have two more eights. She was like lady luck. It Boomer was awesome. girl did come in second place. I'll say that much. So last year in yeah. Santa Fe, she came in first place. This year she came in second place. You know, maybe that's not a fluke. She plays a lot of cards, but she wins. So Jerry Stone, there were five tables they weren't completely filled but there were five tables in the tournament and then yeah. we went down from there until the final table. and we had 53 entries that means out of the 34 players people rebought so as many rebuys we had 53 yeah. uh 60 dollar entries i guess you could say and man in the barn we want to show both the picture and the name just so everybody yeah. sees it together it's not a All secret because right. it's already out there it's already been posted on cal Lazar's grand adventure so right My, do you call? well that's what i was going to ask well, can we say the names of those who won but mm -hmm. uh, yeah yeah, we will at yeah, the we end can. when we show yeah. all the pictures because there's the picture of the final five. a couple of them I had met for the first time, so I don't know if the people I, know I who was, they are. Now. I was happy we had uh, Camellia and uh, and Derek from the Jingle Bell Rock and yeah, Kim that was Jingle great Bell. that they came. Yeah, so they're kind of merging into the Forest Bend game. Mindy uh, came out; she lives here yeah, in Vegas. Mindy so hello Kathy to Mindy. Is yeah. from here also isn't yeah. she? Yeah, Ramona came out; she didn't play, but she came out. Oh, yeah, I didn't see her. Kathy. Yeah, Ramona did not show up. Yeah, how did? How did I miss the She was watching us play poker, and I'm not sure how long she stayed. She's in the chat right now. She just grabbed the treasure chest, yeah. and she walked away. You didn't see her? Shame. Kathy was there. Shame on Ramona for not <laughs> picking me or saying hi. Okay. Yeah, I'll so get to that, Mary. At... I'll get to that part, Mary. Go ahead. So now we're at, I want to say, about 1 a.m.? Mike? Yeah, One, I think two. so. Yes. Okay. So then the the winners, the all of the prizes were up in my room, my suite, and that's where all of the um the party was before and we had we also did a little pit stop and got plenty of alcohol. So we said anyone who wants to come out of the 32 with me and Mike 34 of us head on up. And I think we had between 25 and 30 searchers in the it was <laughs> packed you could not walk in the suite it was packed yeah, yeah. I, mean, I went home uh i'll give you a little extra space i went home right Beautiful. right right so everybody was like we better <laughs> get some food yeah. so i called uh domino's and i had i think eight pizzas delivered to the room so that was cool we had some um, and mike was super sweet because he knows that i don't eat pizza he ordered me a salad super super nice thank you mike he would like mm -hmm. took special orders which is super <laughs> right nice. right not that i ate any of it i was just was happy they food. delivered to the flamingo i didn't think they would deliver to the strip but they did so yeah. uh yeah and we just stayed up till i don't know three o'clock in the morning <laughs> three okay or, I, I don't know. know i think it was uh, three i think it was around three so here's okay. the worst here's the worst moment of the entire weekend for me oh, no. uh so john wayne bobbitt was at the tournament and john wayne bobbitt came up to the room and we were all drinking like i said i had de serrano on ice i don't know what anybody else was drinking but john comes up to me and he goes mike look and he holds up his cell phone like that right in my face and there is a picture of John Wayne Bobbitt's severed penis on a table with blood everywhere. So that was great. I almost threw up. Uh, so now he's he, he had other pictures, and he's chasing me around the suite trying to show them to me. And I'm just like, get away from me. I don't want to see it. So it's funny Nemo, now, but at the Nemo time was I was attacked. like, dude, what Nemo are you was doing? Attacked as well. Both of you guys, well, first he <laughs> yeah. came to me, and he's like, can I show this to you? And I'm like, hell no. And I ran away, and that's right when Mike was coming back. I don't know. If yeah, it, it was and bad. And then showed it, and then I think Nemo saw it. They were both scarred. They were <laughs> yeah. going down. They were hemorrhaging. That I was, was like, horrible. Hey, this is, oh, this is my painful God. for men to, to, to witness. <laughs> You know, we get, no, yeah, they, I don't want to see understand, that. understand, there was a picture of him and then a picture of... Yeah, yeah, he showed himself, too, his crotch, and I didn't see that part, luckily. I was That's when I was running away, like, I'm not going to look at it, I don't want to see it. Oh, my God. He so, seems kind of open about it. Yeah, I mean, well, he makes he a lot of jokes, which is good. So I, I hear he's a porn star. I certainly haven't seen his videos or anything. At least, oh, I didn't think of that. At least he didn't try and show that. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, Mike, you weren't in enough of the conversation. Oh, okay. Um, then maybe I missed some yeah. things. He, there he, were... he did talk to me about his Colorado solve and some of his ideas. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, he's, he's, <laughs> he's, I don't know if it's convincing or persuasive, more persuasive, you know, like, right, right, right. Uh, like persistently persuasive no. about his solve. But so is a lot, so are a lot of people. They're very, uh, confident let's say yeah yeah 
Well, there were a couple people in the room that night that were very confident about some things, and you know, you can't okay, talk them I out of give, it. So, what do you say? I will give the award to more than John because John Bob, I talked to him for at least two hours about his solve, but I will give Larry. Larry talked more right. about his solve than like convincingly. Right. I'm going to say that, but everybody did at one <laughs> one time or another talked about their solve, but there were some that were <laughs> you could tell you could talk you could talk anything, and it didn't matter. It was about their solve. So, so I Larry, <laughs> I just want you to know because we talked about it that the too far. To walk benchmark maps i will have those for sale pretty in the next couple weeks so just putting that out there because you wanted a map so they're, they're coming they're coming okay so, so there uh, was so just like the previous night um where there was a little bit of a scuffle that we didn't talk about i won't say scuffle um disagreement mm -hmm. there was a disagreement that night and we won't talk about it but i just want everyone to know was it perfect like Come on, let's give a little bit of reality. There was a little bit of a <laughs> argument, um, and eh, we no moved on deal. from it. I mean, not, a, not a big deal. There yeah. was no blood. There was no fighting. <laughs> right. Like they, we're good. I think um, overall everything was fine. Everybody had a fun time, right? <laughs> right. Oh, just yeah, silence. Oh, yeah. Total no, silence. I, I'm just. I, I. I. I'm thinking. There was a lot of people there. I'm just trying to. I'm looking through the pictures, trying to remember everybody. I mean, I tried to learn everybody's name and uh, get right, to know right, people. Right. And, well, and Larry, Larry had a guest book and he had everybody sign yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was a cool idea. Doodles and all that. So that's like a collectible. So everybody has their chips now. <laughs> it's maybe 4 a.m. I'll just say some things happen. And all of a sudden, it's like everybody out. So it was much like Santa Fe. It was a quick, okay, goodbye. So we said a quick goodbye. Um, that's the stuff we want to hear. All right, and I say um, let's just go to the pictures. Anything else we need to go over? <laughs> Oh, if there's, you're not sharing some of those pictures, are you? I, the some pictures I have, the ones I have aren't bad. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. There's the bathtub uh, picture, but that's about it. Okay. Do we want to go to Sunday or, okay, we can go to pictures. Well, Sunday, Sunday, everybody got up and went home. What? Okay. I got to the airport. I heard that. Oh, that's right. Pawn that's Stars. right. That's I heard right. you did a I forgot. Line. Yeah. I heard so, you, like. Nelica and Copper Dan were still at Bailey's. So Dan was like, hey, we're over here at Roulette because they didn't leave until Monday. K-Pro, you flew out Sunday morning. So I yeah. thought, yeah, you know what? Because this was like a vacation for me, even though I live out here. I had Thursday, Friday off of work. So it's, I'm like, let's keep the vacation going. So I show up. Nelica showed me her system on roulette where she won a whole bunch of money. Although I didn't really get it, but I understand what she was doing. Oh, um, I want to hear that. Yeah, well, maybe maybe she'll tell us one of these days what she was doing. Um, so they said, hey, let's go to Pawn Stars. And, of course, I have the car. So I was like, let's go. And they were down there looking at coins. And, you know, we're treasure hunters. So I had to buy... A 2019 Silver Eagle. This is what I got from Pawn Stars. Wow, uh, nice. it's graded. With I the early release. I got some like art and yeah, some yeah. artwork and stuff. And uh, 38 bucks. I mean, nothing crazy, but you know, it's silver. It's real silver. So I finally have a silver coin. So that's kind of cool. And then from there, we went down to Fremont Street. And even though I was dead tired, I hung with them. And Nelica and Copper Dan did the zip line, the Superman zip line over Fremont Street. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I'm glad we were able to hang out and keep it going until Sunday night. Yeah, I might have I might have joined in, but I had to work on uh, Sunday as a rare occurrence for me. I'm usually in church, actually. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And we were there until <laughs> Fremont Street till like what eight p.m. seven or eight p.m. So it was wow. like a full day. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, tired. Yeah. I was. I I came home, crashed, didn't even unpack the car. I I got half filled alcohol bottles from the room. I had all the T-shirts. I had clothes. All that. I just left it in the car, and I came home and went to bed. <laughs> I so, called my. And I'm like, we got to get everything on this room. Can yeah. you come out? He came up and his car, the, guy, the bell guy was like, what did you guys yeah, do? Yeah, there's pizza boxes <laughs> everywhere. That room was trashed, but hey, that that's Vegas for trash. you. We, we left some extra money and so it was okay. All right. <laughs> so, anything okay. else or should we hit the pictures? And you guys, I know there's going to be a delay for you to see him, but just weigh in and I can go back to pictures. Well, wait, you? let's talk about like the top of the trip. I will say, Nelica, I won't tell the story. You're awesome, chick. <laughs> Um, Mike's this Mike, and we're going to show this again in a second. Um, yeah, yeah, that'll be at the end. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. The people, the people were awesome. The searches. Yeah, everything was great. Like and I say, girl, everybody that showed up. The girls rocking it. The girls rocking it was the best. So we'll talk about the, the peak, peak in our pit. Um, what's your peak, peak off? Oh, <laughs> what was, what was the best of the I, best? All right. The, uh, right, right at the beginning of Saturday night, before the poker started, just getting to talk to everybody before. Mm. That was when the most people were there. That was excellent. That was that was really awesome. Uh, 
uh, just talking to everybody that the big group of 30 something people, mm-hmm. uh, 30, yeah. 40 people. Same for me. Was, the, the highlight, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, the highlight yeah. was meeting the people. I mean, it, the yeah. poker tournament was an event for people to come out, but it was a meeting to everybody up in the room and we talked and meeting 20 people that I've never met before, but I've talked to through email a bunch of times. So yeah, that Zozo. was the highlight. Zozo. What? Zozo was there. Was Zozo, Zozo, were you there? I don't know if it was. I didn't know. Some people uh, had some cover names, I think. So I'm not sure who some of the people were. Okay. <laughs> Tom we'll was there. Tom was there, but he didn't come around during the game. Uh, yeah. Some people only came to the poker tournament, and that's it. And that's okay. I mean, everybody was invited to the suite, but some people just did the poker tournament. And then they're in Vegas. You know, they did their own things, and that's okay, too. Yeah. With yeah. Elvis, there was almost an Elvis church thing involved but we won't go into that until late so let's show some pictures <laughs> all right do i don't remember any church what are you talking about all right here we go i must have maybe i missed some things all right here we go uh and yeah there'll be a little delay so i'll wait oh and there's uh, and there's a cow lasers coffee mug um so i don't know how that got in there coffee mugs coming soon though but not this one this one was sent to me so thanks to whoever sent it. That was um, Jody from the class, I think, sent me this. So I'm just okay, waiting can, for it to catch can up. Can we talk over? Okay. So yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, the Wiz says, my favorite part was sitting on the couch in the escape room, having a beer with the guy in quiet silence for 20 minutes as we gifted a win to the late. Oh, whatever. I'm not even reading the rest. Gifted a win. <laughs> gifted a win. Whatever. We all got together oh, and decided okay. we should we let go. you win because it was that kid's birthday. But anyway. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> just kidding. Sucks. So here is the – I'm going to show the poker doodles because they'll probably never be seen again, and you guys will find out at the end who won those books. So Forrest was nice enough to sign the three books. And these are the poker doodles. May, L- May Lady Luck be with you. Uh, here's to four of a kind. And here's to a full house. <clears throat> and we had the... Um, we had the... We had the prizes in the suite so people could see them. Um, uh, yeah, we were uh, everybody saw the prizes before the tournament. They came up to the room, is what I'm saying. All right. So, oh, and there's the number one map. I'll let you know who got that too. February three, signed by Forrest, the number one map. This is Copper Dan's awesome. Uh, it was Ojo Caliente map, which he framed and put the coins on. And I will say this: I now own the map. It's behind me because the person who won it was nice enough to let me buy it from them. So from the beginning, I was trying to get that map. So thank you to Nelica. I ended up getting it. And then, oh, there's the bathtub pic, everybody. Oh, it's delayed. <laughs> yeah, I know it's delayed. I, I'm waiting to see what what uh, you're looking at. I'll wait for it to come uh. up. So we were in the suite, and those two disappeared in the other room. So I walked in with the camera, like, what's going on in here? And there they were. I don't know what was going on. What I should have done is turn the water on. That's what I should have done. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny, actually. Jonesy's the queen of the World Series of Penn. Nah, so that is Jonesy, and that is Capro with her bunny ears on. You want to tell them where those bunny ears are from there, Capro? <laughs> so the night before, there was a guy that came from – okay, it just came up. There was a guy that came from um, – there's a very large convention – related to adult stuff and he was huge he was like six six and he was huge he was probably 300 pounds and he had a g-string on his head and bunny ears and he really liked this one lady and he went over and gave her the bunny ears when she got knocked out i went over and said how much for the bunny ears she told me how much (laughs) i put the bunny ears on and he thought it was the funniest thing and so the bunny ears were like I didn't go to that thing, but I will say those represented the rest of the trip. <laughs> yeah, JBR princess knows. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and here is Copper Dan. <laughs> Copper Dan rocks. I'll okay, wait I for that. To, I know. Yeah, it'll be up in a minute. Delayed. Ah, Nelica's saying so, paper does too. I don't know what you mean, Nelica. That you rock. Oh, you deserve no. to have something special. <laughs> That's what she meant. Oh, okay. no. I thought you meant I didn't know where it what we're so what about. I'm going to do is forward the pictures quicker, and that way, when you guys see them, you can talk about them. There it is, Copper Dan and Capro. I'm not seeing them, but that's okay. You don't see the picture. You have to be watching YouTube. I see me and Jonesy. Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, it'll yeah, come up. Yeah, that's It'll in the up. suite. That was we were talking about Metallica, and 
I don't know. Yeah, we, we talked about Metallica. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Copper Dan Rocks. That's what I thought you were doing. No, it's like so here's some, Metallica. Here's some pictures from the poker table. Uh, just everybody playing. I'm not sure what the thumbs down is. You'll see it in a minute here. Uh, maybe because Copper Dan won a big pot. I'm not sure. <laughs> Some of this is a blur, but this was this poker tournament was the night before. This is the Friday night tournament where all the searchers were at one table and the other people were at another table. And I ended up winning that one somehow. And there's my lucky coin with some chips. That's a silver coin, actually. Oh, I think I took that from you, Capro. I think I acquired your coin for luck in the tournament, and then and, it brought luck, too. I won. Um, Did you return it, Mike? I did return it, I think. No, it didn't Oh, end up is that, that's coin. probably the coin I gave to the person who got knocked yeah, out of the tournament. Yeah, you gave my coin to that's the right. guy that uh, we, we make sacrifices yeah, to make these things happen. Yeah, that's when I got happen. knocked out. Look at the whiz, look at me. Like, And Copper Dan's as smiley as can be because he's knocked out another one. And then here was that tournament. This was the final table of the Friday night tournament. And there's Larry. It ain't easy being cheesy <laughs> with that smile. <laughs> Reminds me of that Cheeto commercial. Um, <laughs> yeah, you need to click with your eyes what you're seeing. I know. There it is. There it is. And I'm behind Larry hiding over here. And there's uh, everybody else that was there. This guy was um, – so these two guys were not searchers because remember this was a Friday night tournament that anybody could play. So I guess this guy lives there. He's there all the time from what I hear. Well, and the um, final maybe. three, I will say the final three was Mike. And uh, this is the previous day was Mike and two other non searchers. So Mike mm -hmm. re like represented. So yeah. And those two guys, they, they were really like cool with our whole treasure hunting and didn't have any shy, uh, you know, they, they weren't shy at all. They were just, enjoying our conversation about the treasure and totally relaxed about how they played poker and didn't mind our, our crazy, you know, right. bad manners. 7%, 7%. <laughs> so this is an awesome picture. This is the Forest Fen t-shirt uh, and then the all three coins. So it's a 2019 coin, the original FF coin and Jenny's coin. So I love that picture because it shows all the coins. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow, we got them all, all these coins together. We better snap a shot and we got the uh, t-shirt in the background. Yeah, <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. And here's one of the pictures in front of uh, Buca de Peppo. Looks like K Pro's feeling no pain right there. And there's I AJ see, I Rainville. See what you're seeing. You <laughs> it's coming up. Well, no, it's there's a delay. You've seen the pictures. Yeah, you've already seen Oh, is this the one with me and Larry hugging each other? No. Oh, that's just popped up right now. So this is when I was still in the tournament. These guys all were going to dinner. Uh, and yeah, that's the crew from Friday night. That's everybody that got together Friday night. I'm still on the coins. What are you guys seeing? It's coming up. It's just delayed. The uh, the uh, the book of Beppo's was 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 good good food. Uh, everyone was kind of griping about the uh, the menu style where they they bring out the food family style, and yeah. I had forgot that they do that, and they don't really even allow you to order separate, you know, entrees or anything. You can add anything a la carte. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of different, but I liked it. It wasn't too bad. And then this is uh, we had to hit the liquor store in the Flamingo oh, okay. <laughs> to, uh, to when we went up to the oh, room. Oh, yeah, I like this yeah. one. Yeah, I like Copper Dan's that? pose right there. Oh, man, I got to have <laughs> Hey, send me that one. I got to have Where did these uh, come from? Uh, you never know oh. what's going on. You, you, were, so you this, don't remember. Yeah, this is, is the escape cool? room. These, This is the group that won. K-Pro's group won the escape room. So these are the ladies, and oh, then that's yeah. Kevin. Yes, that's yeah. it. Kevin's in the back. And that's what we're doing, the, like, Charlie's Angels thing. Right. We all yeah. the it was right, girls right, right. Versus, versus boys versus boys. <laughs> yep, and the girls won it. Bosley's team rocked it. Yeah, I'll do it. And then do here's, the the here's K-Pro with the box that I gave her. And then girl, she opened girl, it up. Uh-huh. Uh, and then the <laughs> box again. Everybody can see that. A lot of people were like, how can I get one of those custom boxes? I'm not saying you can get one, but email me if you're interested, and maybe we can work something out. So a friend of mine that I work with has a wood shop in his garage, and I had him made that make that box. Oh, he, so, he can make a dozen more. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And you can, like, customize. Okay. <laughs> That's but, the okay, thing, is it can that. be customized with whatever you want. So email yeah. me if anybody's really interested. I have no idea how it would work, but I'm just putting it out there. Copper uh, tan. Okay, I'm sorry, keep going. Oh, and then, yeah, that's the inside. And there's AJ in his cow suit. So he best definitely gets the best dressed award. He already had I the think, golden medallion, so we didn't have to give him a coin. <laughs> and I think in future years, we're going to have the best 
um, play on cow. Like, is a cow prop, a cow outfit, that a cow something? That would be funny, yeah. Yeah, because we love you, Cal. And there's Sasha <laughs> and Decal. I think Sasha was like, are you taking my picture? <laughs> and then uh, Matt. So it's Matt, Sasha, and Decal. This was at the table. Yeah, I'd never met Matt before. Charming, handsome yeah, guy. Yeah, nice guy, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't even – um, maybe I don't pay enough attention anymore. Like, uh, I did, sorry, Matt, I, I don't know you that well. Well, he's not uh, on the forums or anything. He's not kind of a behind the scenes yeah. guy. Yeah. You yeah. know what? I heard that he loved the 800 foot salamander. Like that's a part of his solve. I'm shocked that you don't know. <laughs> Somebody. Oh, so, so <laughs> Sasha's saying, are you, are you taking my picture? And then it was like, yes, you are. And everybody's smiling. Sasha like, hey. <laughs> clean the chips. Like just, like I had no chance. To she won. Pictures. She won early, really quick. Yeah, she won Back like four or five out hands. My hand of chips, like nobody's business. Uh, right. And it was. I didn't see a lot of like mental effort. She was just a natural kind of just hustler. I might. You know, I <laughs> she was good. It. it was fun. She was, yeah, she was just taking all the chips. And here's K Pro saying, "This is my coin, and you can't have it." And that's Deborah. That's one of the dealers at uh, Bally's. She was nice. Deborah was so yeah. nice. The greatest. She yeah, we like Deborah. Yeah. And that uh, right there, that's a good picture. Deborah and K Pro. I can't. I can't see any of them. It's coming up. There's you saying, "This is my coin, and you're never going to get it." That's your lucky six four four, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, probably. So okay. that so there were uh, four tables uh, on this table, which is coming up. There's Mindy. There's um, different people. There's Larry, Mark Brown, Jeremy, AJ in his cl in his uh, outfit, um, and there's the guy from the JBR from the JBR Rock here in Vegas. Thanks you guys for showing up, uh, for coming out, and uh, and then this guy Bruce is it? I can't. I think his name was Bruce. See, some of the people I was so busy I didn't get to meet everybody and really get to talk, sit down and talk to everybody. But uh, yeah, uh, we which, had a lot of which, fun. Which one is? Uh... In the back, which ones? Are, in so, the back, well, there's Mark, is Larry, Mark Brown. I think it's uh, Mitch or something. Oh, Mitch. Okay. Well, then I apologize. And then, yeah. Uh, and then Angelo. Jeremy. Uh, uh, and then AJ. And then the dealer. Yeah, the two dealers. Right. And then, yeah. And, and there's then Mindy. Mindy front and center. K Pro. Uh, yeah. Nice to, it was nice to meet Mindy. I, I haven't uh, talked to Mindy, Mindy a lot of times. And. Uh, now I got to meet her in person. It was cool. And there's K Pro. So happy that her aces got busted. <laughs> and then this is K Pro's table. So you can see it was uh, Nelica. It was a whole bunch of people. Boomer Girl. Wait, uh, let me catch up. Copper Dave was ahead. there. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I you guys are at the table. I'll let you talk it's about it. It's not there yet. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Let's see the whole table. It's Copper Dave, but he actually came over later. And him and I were both just. Oh my goodness. Um, he's funny. I mean, he, he was great... hilarious. He's like, I just got knocked out with like two seven. I'm like, I got three, eight over here. And he's like, do you actually play poker? I'm like, no, we're having a hard time. Um, JBR princess, Nelica. Um, that's Chuck's wife, Amy, mm -hmm. um, boomer girl, myself, copper. Oh, Day, uh, Mor Moro. I don't know who else. Oh, Angelo was on the right. Yeah, we had it. And then uh, Camellia. Uh, <laughs> Cow tails. Yeah. That's pretty funny. So um, there's a guy on the wrong picture. Yeah, Ian Matt could be. There's a couple of pictures from this table, so I'm just going to go through them. Uh, Boomer Girls laughing because she won once again. <laughs> And it was just fun. I mean, I think poker is a perfect thing to play. There's a little competition, but, you know, there's a lot of fun. So It was fun. It was super fun. Here's my chips with the Lucky Force Fen chip on top. And then I let it catch up. Um, there's a picture of me at the end of the table. All serious, how I play. <laughs> You're kind of the introvert when you play. You aren't that yeah, you right. usually the introvert. You usually don't know 40 people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Usually I'm just there to play. And then there's K-Pro, rock on. Reminds me of Wayne's World. Then there's uh, Kamika, one of the dealers. <laughs> that's a funny picture. Yeah, Kamika, I think, caught the most heck during the tournament. I apologize mm -hmm. to her. I gave her an extra tip. She got a little bit... There was a searcher that didn't think she was calling things right. And I'm like, she's a professional. We're good. Um, so, sorry. 
So actually, you guys do the commentary because you're seeing the pictures as everybody else does. So I'll just go through the pictures and you guys uh, say what you got to say. Okay. Oh, they're going to be delayed. I'm looking at the one where I'm looking silly. I know that doesn't narrow it down. Oh, that's true. It's I'm delayed for you guys, too. <laughs> yeah, it's delayed. So. All right. Yeah. So, yeah, good times. Uh, it was okay. a lot of fun. Let's see. I'm just going to go through. There's a lot of poker pictures. These are and I'll, These are from all different people. They've emailed them to me. So I thought, why not show them? Yeah. I'm flat neck and saying, I bet you there was a bus bunch of bluffing. I don't think so. I don't think people realize that like a three, eight is not a good hand and they thought it was a good hand and they would put thousands of dollars in and then they would catch two, eight um, or something crazy like that. It happened again and again and again. Yeah. I don't there think there was very luck. little bluffing. I mean, I learned quickly, do not bet against my cowling. <laughs> <laughs> or boomer girl, boomer yeah. girl. She was awesome. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no, no bluffing almost. Yeah, I mean, the only people that there was a couple of bluffs here and there, if you had the exact perfect seat where you could read that, read the table and, ha and, and throw in, throw in the last bet, you know, then I forget what that's called in per poker terms, but All in, baby. yeah, All no, no. If you have the last, if you, ha if you're the last one to bet, you can kind of oh. see if, if they're you're on the button, you're on yeah, the button. You're on the button. Yeah, that's it. So I, that's the only people. There was a few of those bluffs out there, but there wasn't that many bluffs at all. Yeah, it no, was. It was, fun. it was all cards. So here's a good yeah. group picture of everybody, and we took a couple of these. So I'll just go through them real quick. Oh yeah, that was yeah, like that's a good picture. Group, minus right. maybe two or three, but that was the whole group. That yeah. was awesome. Oh, minus, yeah. minus a couple people maybe that didn't want to be in the picture, but I should frame this. That's actually a cool, uh, cool picture. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. I want it. <laughs> Malika and her husband they're just they're being tower junction blaze some people bought i bought a couple to see it because people were going so high i was like i'm already so far in by the the river i wanted to see it and it was like the one that was a three eight i i had pocket aces so i had to and i i'm still bitter about that one so anyway it's still mad how many times i'm still bitter, I'm still still bitter. i went over and every time i hit mike he go this just happened and mike's like ah, i'm gonna be bruised by the end of this so this is a picture of the final table. Uh, let's see. It was Mindy. It was uh, Nelica. It was D-Rex. It was Boomer Girl, uh, Maro, Mark Brown, Steve, Copper Dan, uh, Mitch, and myself, although I'm taking the picture. So we were the last 10 to make the final table, and six spots got paid. As you can see up there in the upper right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's a better picture of it. There's Dan, Copper Dan, getting his massage. They do that in the poker room. And um, I'm trying to remember who got knocked out first. I don't know. I, I know I went out sixth. Um, and then at the end, we'll show you the winners. Uh, oh, there's one of Bob it, me, and Capro. That was bad. That was later uh, at the room, I believe. <laughs> we don't look um, like we're feeling oh no God, pain right what there. What <laughs> the I don't know how that picture jumped in there all of a sudden. Um, all right. I hope there's not many after our after party pictures. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're almost done. We're almost at the end. I know we're over an hour. Okay, already. there's the. Okay, I'm seeing the the massage one. So there it is. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and then this is the final five. So what happened was, um, let's see, who went out in fifth place? Fifth place was Copper Dan, I believe. Fourth place was Mark Brown. So Copper Dan, and then the last three, so it was Steve, Boomer Girl, and Nelica, and they were playing, they were playing, and then they decided, you know what, let's just chop it, which means they took first, second, and third place, added all the money, and they just split it evenly. But as far as the prizes we gave away, it went by chip count, whoever had the most chips. So Steve, that has his uh, number one up here, his hand is the number one, he won first place, he took the number two coin, Boomer Girl came in second, she took the poker books. Nelica got Copper Dan's uh, framed OHO um, map, which she sold to me, which was nice. Thank you, Nelica. Uh, Copper Dan got the number one Fenbury map, and Mark Brown got the uh, WWWH. Was that number three, I believe? Uh, well, and was, I want to say that yeah. Steve's son was the Bosley, Kevin, and all. Yeah, and the escape room, and right. He he sponsored his son. He wasn't even going to play. And he's like, are there any spots? I'm like, yeah. actually, a few people didn't show up. He's like, oh, I'll play. So anybody can win, guys. We do this next year. Don't think, oh, I don't know poker. Or I don't know this. It's it, We just had fun. And, you know, yeah, anybody not, can win. not necessarily about the poker. It's, it's not, not at all, poker. really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then and, and you might you might have the cards that day. You know, you don't know who's going to. 
Right. I mean, yeah. skill helps, you know, skill definitely helps. Here's a voucher for $301. I'm sure that came off a roulette from uh, somebody. There's um, there's Copper Dan and his dad. Oh, no, wait, that's Rick from Pawn Stars. <laughs> You'll see the picture here in a minute. So, yeah, Pawn Stars was kind of fun. I hadn't been there yeah, in a I'm while. Still at the top five. I'm I know, it's coming, it's coming. I know. Yeah, that's awesome. I think Steve was a newbie at poker, and he ended up winning the whole thing, so he had a lot of fun. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, saw, I, I actually saw Steve make a couple of mistakes early mm -hmm. on. It's weird. I was making horrible ma mistakes myself. but uh, <laughs> and, and Mark was, Brown had a huge chip lead, but he would just play every hand. So, it, But for a while there, man, he caught a lot of cards. And I yeah. love Boomer Girl. She's there. Most of us were rookies. She's taken the second tournament top two. And it's like, you're not a rookie. Mm -hmm. Boomer Girl, you oh, are yeah. professional. You're awesome. So, so there's great. me and Capro. And coming up is me and the number one uh, World Series of Fen event, uh, champion, Steve. <laughs> and there is the logo with the chip. So, yeah, that's about it. Oh, wait. we have, Do we have pictures? Yeah, we might have pictures from the after party. Let's see. Mike? I'll just go through these real <laughs> We're quick. We're over in time, Mike. We're over. Oh, we got to cut it off? All right, let's see. There's four nines that somebody got. I had four sixes at one point, so that was fun. I think that was when you called, D-Call. I think I made made a big bet, and you called, and you were like, I know you got it. You didn't know I had four sixes, but you're like, I know you got me beat. Yeah, yeah, it was against me, and I lost my behind on that play. Right. And... Uh, and and the and the, the night before you got me with the flush. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so this is a picture in the room afterward. Larry and his Oreos, which if anybody seen has seen rounders, you know what that's all about. Um, copper or not copper? Uh, Bobbit had his uh, peace medal. He said that's like an Indian peace medal or something. Remember that big coin? Well, he was yeah, showing it was everybody. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln on there. Yeah. 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 And I know, guys, you're not seeing this, but you'll you'll catch up to it. Copper Dan and his father, Copper Dave. Copper Dave. <laughs> what was the highest hand, Zozo? I think it was four sixes with Mike. Four nines. Okay. Somebody had four nines. Oh, four nines. Yeah. I'm not sure who had that, but that was the highest. We could have did a high hand of the night, too. I didn't think of that. So, see, next year we got all these ideas. It's going to be bigger and even better next year. That was everybody. the pre party. I know you're probably already advanced. That was yeah. the pre party. That was Oh, the, the picture in the room? Oh, okay. Party that had a lot more people. <laughs> yeah, see, so we're back to Buca de Peppo. So, the, the pictures are a little bit out of order, everybody. And I, you know what? I don't think we have pictures from the after party, to tell you the truth. I don't, anyway. So, this is a good one. This is all of us before the tournament started. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Anybody who was like, eh, I don't know, you should have went. That's my opinion. Next, Show up next year, right? I agree. 